Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm going to be doing a grocery haul. I haven't done one of these in a while, but also not one while we've been staying at home. So let's get started. The first section, I try to group them into kind of like sections. First is fruit. I picked the worst bananas you could ever pick. I mean, each of them are soft and I was trying to find ones that weren't. I think I just touched these, but these are horrible. So hopefully Steve can use those. He likes them in his smoothies. I keep on calling them smoothies. There's protein shakes. Um, I don't know. Then for, uh, also for protein shakes, blackberries and blueberries. And for everyone, uh, I got these mandarins. They're the halos, and they're so good. Uh, we've all been enjoying this as kind of like a quick snack, or if we want something sweet. So that's the fruit. Okay, next are veggies, and a big thing of Baby Bella mushrooms. I love to put mushrooms in a lot of things that I make for dinner or eggs or salads. So it's, I like this size and um, I would have probably gotten the white ones, but they didn't have the white in that big of a size. Next we have spinach and I got two bags of these. Steve likes to put these in his protein shakes again, but we also like it in salads or um, I make green juices. And I was thinking of making tomato mozzarella salad, so I got tomatoes, and you'll see the mozzarella a little bit further in this video. Red onions. I like to saute with red on with uh, white onions, any variety, but like in stuff that you need it raw, like a hamburger or salads. I like to have um, the red onion. Next is a cabbage, and this lasts forever um, in the refrigerator. I have one in there that's been in there for like a couple of weeks. I'm going to use it to today or tomorrow, and I like to have a backup of that. Some limes, just for the green juices, and I like to sometimes add it to my water. Zucchini to make zoodles. Steve's trying to be low carb, so got that. Um, carrots. Can't do without carrots. It's just such an easy side dish for dinner. Um, one that we all have been liking is the glazed carrots. And so what you just do is cook the carrots, then you put it into a pot or a pan with brown sugar and butter, and it just makes it so good. Not the healthiest, but it's really good. Got peppers, also for crunching on and for mm, for meals and stuff. And I have the veggies in the sink, so everything is wet. <laughs> okay, next we have some dry goods. Uh, these are the Ritz Fresh Stacks. So there's eight small packs in here, which I thought would be nice for a snack as well. Lots of snacking going on. Uh, same thing with these club crackers. They're also in a small size. And these are good for snacks. Peanut butter and jelly I had this morning. Um, we ran, I was using the last bag. And I like these because they're smaller. So you don't have to feel so bad about um, like opening a bag and losing the freshness. And then uh, for my grandmother, she loves this stuff, and I saw we were running low, so I got two boxes of this All Brand Buds, and there were so many of these um, in the aisle, uh, in the cereal aisle. And I was noticing the signs in this particular store. Um, they didn't have a lot of like limit of one, limit of two, uh, and um, yeah. <laughs> okay, then we have. These are the Toto Rosso diced tomatoes. I used one the other day to make lentil soup, so I want to get another one. And I did get two of those. Then we have the extra wine noodles. We're down to one bag, and I'm probably going to use the bag this week. So decided to get another one of those uh, egg noodles. I feel like I said that wrong. Did I say egg white noodles? 
and then of course got some bread so I, I like this kind this is the Pepperidge Farmhouse Hardy Whites and then Steve likes the healthy bread which probably we should all be eating it's Dave's Killer Bread organic bread 21 whole seeds sorry 21 whole grains and seeds that looks super healthy And this doesn't quite fit into this a section, I guess the refrigerator section, although a lot of the veggies are gonna go in there. Anyway, here are our half sour pickles. I've been wanting to get pickles for a while. And then these two things are for the freezer. And not an emergency meal, but like in case we don't have, I don't have an idea what to make for dinner for my grandmother. I got knockwurst and bratwurst, just easy. Put it on the stove, let it boil for a little bit. Um, Got some cold cuts, the got Virginia ham and bologna for my sister. She loves bologna. I used to like it as a kid, but not anymore. Oh, something that's in the refrigerator is whole milk. We got that. Half and half, heavy cream, all the milks. And then here's the mozzarella <laughs> for the tomato salad, but also I'll put that into pastas. I want to make a, this is goat cheese, I want to make a goat cheese appetizer. Um, so you press down the goat cheese on a plate and then you saute tomatoes, onions, and let that cook and then you put it on top of the goat cheese so that's warm and then you drizzle balsamic glaze on top. So good, try it. Um, then I used a block of this cream cheese a couple weeks ago so I got couple more and then eggs so that's my grocery haul I don't feel like this was a lot but this is kind of more like a supplement supplement to like in between like the big groceries trips and I to be honest with you I don't like going out right now I just a little bit uncomfortable um, I guess scared too, just to be around people. But we and but we need to eat and we need to have food, so it's kind of like we gotta do what we gotta do. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.